Man, it's a good thing the Leafs pulled that off. Otherwise, I was going to burn your Versteeg jersey. I don't have a Versteeg jersey. This is just mine. Hey, got to burn something, okay? What's it going to be? Boom. You ready? Anything. Big news. What? Whoosh. Seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring them on. Beautiful. Put the sword down. I was saying if. Can't be too careful, right? Leafs win 3-2 over the Philadelphia Flyers in Philadelphia for their second straight 3-2 victory against a team from Pennsylvania. Random stats. This is a pretty crappy situation. Leafs flying into Philadelphia overnight after a war with the Pittsburgh Penguins, and now they got to take on the number one team in the East. Yeah. And one of the storylines coming into this game beside the playoff push for Stieg's first game against the Leafs since the trade. But in seven games with the Flyers, he's only got two points and one goal, and it was an empty netter. And it's just under six minutes into this game, it didn't look like he was doing much of any <gasps> you jerk christopher steeg does stuff and gets his 16th of the season putting the flyers up one to nothing of course he did as certain as the seasons will change a former leaf will score on the leafs just ah uh. heading into this game since the trade with philly versteeg only had two more points than the two picks the leafs got and i guess the main thing i'm most bitter about with versteeg scoring is that i didn't bet on it yeah here's a grand on an ex-leaf scoring on the leafs but i'd probably only get a grand and a dollar back because the odds are so good anyway 21 seconds later, Clark MacArthur with a cannon that beats Sergei Bobrovsky. They give the goal to Kuhlman. Not really sure if he tipped it, but I don't really care. The Leafs tie the game up 1-1. As long as we're talking about Sergei Bobrovsky, we might as well talk about him and James Reimer preseason game in London, Ontario. Solid game, solid goalie duel. The Leafs winning in a marathon shootout with Colby Armstrong getting the winner. And that's just when fans started going, wow, that James Reimer gets pretty good. Glad we found him in a well or something because he's coming out of nowhere. Nope, the Marlies, the Marlies. You came from the Marlies. You silly, silly people watch the Marlies. I once called him the best Leaf prospect that nobody knows about. So much for that. Welcome to the rhyme light. Oh, boo, your puns are terrible. So we enter the second period, tied, and they start the tone off physical. Flyers taking a couple shots at Ollie that he didn't really like, and I know what you're thinking. The Flyers? No! But they've always been so nice! So Scotty Hartnell and Keith Ollie drop the gloves. Then Keith Ollie drops Scott Hartnell. Is Ollie a rookie? Yes. Is he a giant Wookiee with boulders for fists? Mm hmm. Thank you very much. But it would be the Flyers benefiting from the fight just a few minutes later. Great passing play and finishing it off. <gasps> no way. Christopher Stig makes it too to one flyers. Now look, I promise I'm not saying this to be a jerk. This really happened. There were games around December, January, where I'd be watching the game with people, and I'd kind of look at the screen, look at the people I'm with, and go, is Versteeg playing? Are oh, you just saying that to be mean? You're saying that because he's a flyer? Not no, I promise that really happened. And the people I was with said, I don't know, check the box score. Oh, wow, looks like he's playing. Now, I'm not saying Versteeg stinks because that's dumb. He's got a cup ring, he knows how to rack up points, and he's got two in this one. Things did not work out in Toronto. And hey, sometimes that happens and you hate to see talent go to waste, so best of luck in Philly. Dying seconds of the second. Mikhail Grabowski and Nikolai Kuhlman working it into the flyer zone. What else is new? Dion Phaneuf comes flying in, swats at it, and guess what? Number three, pots number four, and the Leafs tie the game up at two. Great job by Cooley. That's why the folks on them internets call him Beast Mode. Question of the game. What's Russian for Beast Mode? We head into the third with a tie game. The Leafs really working hard in the second with 17 shots. Now it's late in the third, still tie game. Power play after power play after power play, Leafs can't capitalize. But after the game against Pittsburgh and the flight in, the Leafs are a tired bunch. And getting penalties will tire you out. And you start to see a little bit of this going on in the energy level. Finally, with less than five minutes left, working hard in the corner, you know where to find him, Daryl Boyce. Comes from behind the net and tries to do a far side wraparound. Has that play ever worked with proper coverage? If it has, it can't be often because a very tired looking Flyers defense lets Boyce get in and he slides one past Bobrovsky. Three, two, Leafs. All the Leafs gotta do is kill time and they get a key two points in the standings. And the Flyers can't seem to generate anything. They pull Bobrovsky, ice the puck, have to put him back in. And Keith Ollie's got it in the Leafs zone. All he's gotta do to clear it, and oh my goodness. Tape to tape, and Reimer is forced to make an amazing glove save. Yeah, you gotta go, Grant. Is that an impression of a Transformer, or is something wrong with you? Or both? Reimer with the game-saving save, one of his 30 saves on the night, and the Leafs pick up a key two points, winning three to two. But Buffalo and Carolina went to overtime. Of course they did. Why would they why would they go to overtime? And uh, Carolina won. New York lost though, which means the Leafs are now four points back of the seventh place Carolina Hurricanes and three points back of the eighth place New York Rangers. And of course Buffalo's in there one point up on the Leafs but with two games in hand. Buckle up. And now on Saturday the Leafs take on the fourth place in the West Blackhawks. There are three points out of 11th though. Unless you have plans, I think you should watch the game on Saturday. And if you do have plans, cancel them. So that's it for this one. Don't forget to add me on leafspace.com, add me on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, all that stuff that I'm on, and most importantly, check me out on the Leaf Space live chat during the Hawks game, mapeleafs.com slash leafspacelive, and can they?